In this video, I'm going to show you a slightly alternate uh, table from the ones that are in your textbook regarding the um, uh, uh, molecular structures of an, a Vesper, Vesper model um, molecular shapes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a table that looks like this. Is, um, on one axis or table, this is going to be the total number of lone pairs of electrons in the molecule. And on this one, I'm going to have the total number of electron pairs in the molecule. So we have total number of electron pairs. Let me just see if I can write that better sideways here. Total number of electron pairs in the molecule and the total number of lone pairs in the molecule. So this would be essentially giving us the electron pair geometry. We have one, two. We looked at molecules that have up to six pairs of electrons around them. And we looked at molecules that every everywhere from zero lone pairs to three lone pairs. Again, this is just an alternate alternate table that sometimes helps people. If this after I'm looking after you've seen this doesn't help you so much, that's okay. There are you can you can use the information that we already had or the tables that are in your text. If we have um, one pair of electrons and zero uh, lone pairs of electrons, we have a linear molecule. An example would be HCl. Here we have a linear molecule, and this would be BF2. We didn't cover or look at this, this idea of having two pairs of electrons and one lone pair, that would be a linear molecule too. I can't think of an example of that type of molecule offhand. When we have three lone pairs of electrons and three pairs, three pairs of electrons around the central atom, we would have a trigonal planar geometry. We saw an example with BF3 or BCL3. Okay, if we remove one molecule, we'd end up with a bent or angular structure. One example would be with the SO2 molecule. And again, if we have three pairs of electrons around the central atom and two of them are lone pairs, we'd have a linear molecule. I can't think of an example of that, but that would be the, the, the case. Um, If we have four pairs of electrons around the central atom and no lone pairs of electrons, in other words, all of the pairs are bonding pairs, we'd have a tetrahedral molecular and electron pair geometry. We remove one, make one pair of electrons, say like in NH3, we'd have a trigonal pyramidal structure. And we saw, for example, water, which has two low elect four, bar four pairs of electrons around the central atom, the oxygen, but two of them are lone pairs. We saw that was a bent geometry. And finally, we have a linear geometry there. I can't think of an example of a molecule that does that. <clears throat> okay, five pairs of electrons around the central atom, and all of them are bonding pairs, or in other words, number of lone pairs are, would be uh, trigonal bipyramidal, as in PCL5 we saw. This is a seesaw structure, say for example with SF4. This is T-shaped we saw where we would have five pairs of electrons, two of them 
or bonding pairs such as you would see in ClF3 and a linear molecule such as xenon XCF2 where we'd have five pairs of electrons around the xenon and three of them are lone pairs, two of them are bonding pairs to the fluorines. That's a linear molecule. And then finally, octahedral SF6, where all of the electrons are bonding electrons, and there are six electrons around, six pairs of electrons around the central atom. All of them are bonding. It's an octahedral electron pair and molecular geometry. We remove make one of them a, an, a, a lone pair, such as that you might find in IF5, and we have a square pyramid. Square planar. A square planar molecule has six pairs of electrons around it, but two of them are lone pairs, four of them are bonding pairs, and we'd have just like a good example of that is with xenon tetrafluoride, and that doesn't, we're not going to worry about that. So this is a, just, um, again, this is just an alternate table from the one in your text. Sometimes people find this to be helpful. Sometimes people don't. Use, use it if you think it's helpful to you.